Okay, I think this is the dumbest story of my life. And I'm not out here acting like I'm perfect, no. Far from it. All my life, I was trying to be the biggest idiot I could be. Just so I have some fun stories of my life. So my life is like a movie. I always try to look for new and dumber and more dangerous bullshit I can do. But this time, I think this story beats them all. I think this was my dumbest night ever. Because I was young. Anyways, I was 15 years old. And here where I live, on Balkans, we already get fucked up on alcohol. And I was going out with slightly older friends of mine. And then, that one older friend, who was already older, had some even older friend. So now I'm hanging around with uh, people who are 5 years older than me. And this is the first time I came across the Rakia. Yeah, most famous Balkan drink. It's like vodka or like brandy, but it goes way harder, trust me. Balkans know what Rakia is. So yeah, I met this new friend, 5 years older than me, and yeah, he held half a liter of rakia in his hand and he asked me do you know what a rakia is have you ever tried rakia and i said no what the fuck is it i want to try it i'm 15 years old i just started drinking everything is so fun i'm indestructible i can do whatever the fuck i want i know i'll be fine so yeah me mr tough guy just wanted to try some rakia and the friend of mine the older guy who gave me the rakia also gave me the instructions how to drink rakia. He told me just drink it like a water. Like a water? What the fuck do you mean by this? So you basically imagine that it's just the water and you pinch your nose so you can smell this shit because it smells awful. And then you just drink it as fast as possible. And that's exactly what I did. That rakia drinking was my last good memory of that night. I woke up in a fucking hospital, already on the bed, like a dead guy. I was completely naked, under the blanket, with I don't know how many tubes and cables connected to me. There was one for blood, there was one for pressure, there was one here, one there, and also one on my dick, in case I need to piss overnight so I don't piss all over my bed because I was passed out in that hospital for the whole night and I had no control over my body and consciousness whatsoever. This was a scene like from a movie. Imagine me drinking out with my friends and then I close my eyes and I open them again in a hospital bed with all these tubes connected to me. And the first thing I saw was a nurse and I asked her, yo, what the fuck happened? Where am I? And she's just like kidding like it's normal and shit. She told me, oh, you just drank a little bit too much last night. It's all right. You're alive. So what basically happened is that I almost fucking died. Imagine yourself that you drink half a liter of brandy as fast as possible in one go, in one sip. Just imagine yourself doing that at 15. I should be dead by now if it wasn't for the doctors. So they had to perform an operation of putting the tube through my throat all the way to my stomach and pumping all the alcohol out. Otherwise, I would be dead. I wouldn't exist on this planet anymore. Yeah, this is how dumb I was. I was so dumb that I could have already been dead at the age of 15. In my first days of going out, drinking on Balkan. Yeah, Balkan is a tough place. We are different breeds. We are built different. And the doctor didn't even report me to the police to the system. Because when he told me, where the fuck were you? I was lying that I was on some birthday of some girl. He told me, yeah, my daughter was also at this birthday. So yeah, I won't report you. This could have happened to my daughter as well. It's all good. So the doctor saved my life and didn't even report me to the system, to the police, to the, I don't even know who. But if you end up in hospital for pumping out alcohol surgically, you should get reported somewhere. The system should know that you are a crazy cunt. But yeah, basically I got out of that fucking shit. So he just saved my life and my family 
came to see me and to take me home in the morning the next day. So yeah, I should have been dead, but somehow doctors saved my life. But not only doctors. When I was back in school the next week, I actually heard from all the people around town that saw me that night. I actually heard what was going on that night. You know, when I closed my eyes and then opened them again in hospital, I somehow connected all the stories. So basically, I was walking around alone, drunk as fuck, about to die, and basically I passed out at some spot in my town. And luckily, two guys from my high school found me. They were two years older than me. I didn't even knew them, but they saw that I will be dead if they don't help me. So somehow they took me on their shoulders and they were just <laughs> and they were taking me back to my home. Somehow I was so drunk and passed out, but somehow I managed to you know to tell them where I live. So they dropped me off at my house. And I fell with my face flat on the door to wake up my poor mother to see me like that. So my family, my mother and my brother, they took me to hospital. But those two guys who found me in my town actually saved me. If they didn't take me to my house, like saving Private Ryan on their fucking shoulders, like I'm already dead in a war. If it weren't for those guys, I would be fucking dead. And yeah, those guys weren't even talking to me in school after that. They just knew that I was an idiot. At least they saved my life. But it seems they didn't want nothing to do with me anymore. They saw I was crazy as fuck and I'm not a normal kid. No. I'm trouble wherever I go. And I like it that way. I'm basically looking for all these crazy situations so I have crazy stories. But yeah, this time I took it too far. So yeah, God always had my back. No matter how stupid I was. So. I am grateful to God as well. The lesson of this crazy Balkan story is alcohol is already bad for you, especially if you're young. And especially if you don't know what you're doing. Especially if you drink that drink first time in your life and you don't know how it will end up. So yeah, take full responsibility of your drinking. Don't be stupid. Don't act like a tough guy because you will end up dead. I'm not fucking kidding. Somehow God saved me, but it doesn't mean he will save you. Drink responsibly and don't be a dumb cunt like me.